Hey Richard, we're here in San Francisco. All right. You're I've been homeless for three years. This is my third year. I'm finally getting an apartment due to the hot team and a connection through a man named Permit. Um, I found out that I have veterans representation and um, plus they're helping me get in because I'm willing to save my money. I'm not out there spending it every first like a lot of nuts, but um, I came out here with my son who's 31 now. Um, I raised him from birth. His mother died when he was eight months old. We slept together the first year together on the streets by the uh, church on ba First Baptist Church on Waller. And it was a very close time. I have a, a bull dog that slept with us. Um, we separated paths. I was very angry and very self-destructive at that moment. Um, I didn't know what shelters were or anything. And I find, you know, that I feel really blessed at this moment that the hot team picked me up and listened to me. It's very hard to get somebody to listen to you when you're homeless especially when you're unwashed and you're dirty, you lose your self-esteem, you know? Well, that's the first thing you said while I was setting up the camera is you're thanking me to, to have somebody to talk to and to hear your story. I have looked for somebody for a long time. The social worker system doesn't work. There's too many of us out here. And a lot of us, a lot of the people that are out here, they don't want to go anywhere else but the street because they want to do drugs or alcohol, etc. I happen to have been sober for nine years. Good for you. You know, um, I had a hard battle. I, I, I got a lot of post-traumatic stress syndrome. I'm a level four, which is really hard to live in a shelter with a lot of people. Right. But I clicked with the hot team with a man named Kermit, who is my hero. Right. So and as a veteran, you're getting off the streets. I'm off the streets in three this days. weekend. Awesome. And I'm so happy. I've got an American Bulldog that's been with me through this journey and kept me sane. My son and me are reuniting. Awesome. Which is good because we separated for a year without talking. And that really broke my heart. I have a lot of feeling for what's happening in America. I'm a true blue American. I come from a true blue American family. And I don't like to see anybody disenfranchised from the system that we have here. Um, I just thank God that you came by and allowed me to say these things. Um, I was really lucky. It's an honor to meet you. And I say thank you very much. If you had three wishes, what would they be? I want my home to be domestic and safe. I want to bring my son back home, even though he's got a girlfriend now. Yeah. And my third is just to live healthy and long. I have cancer at the moment, and it's terminal. It's my second time around with that. Oh, jeez. Um, on top of that, I have hep C, so my son's having a hard time talking to me as a human being. Uh, he's angry about it. Um, right now, I'm in the healthy phase of it. Well, you, you know, have a positive attitude. Uh, I'm very spiritual. And, and housing is going to help. Housing will help immensely. Oh my gosh. You know, and all I can say is veteran or no veteran, every American deserves a place to go and be safe, not be moved along three, four times a night. Well, thank you very much for talking. Okay, I thank you and God bless America.